connected. Right. Let's make you tighter and give this a big yank and give this a twist. Hey, Bucky, good morning. What are you doing? Good morning, Bjorny Bear. I'm making a super slumbertronic remote controlled hammock. I thought we were going to play soccer together. Get started. I'll meet up with you in a little while. Just as soon as I get this tightened up. Come on. Well, all right. Don't take too long. I'll be waiting at the soccer field. Eureka! Gosh, I'm smart. Now I can join Bjorn for a little sucker. Chicky, is it raining out or something? Oh, foot, that's it for the soccer game. I have a brilliant idea. Remind a Matic. What's this? I do not know. Flowers here, snakes. Whoa. Hey there, Bjorny Bear. This rain won't be stopping us, because now we can play with each other from home. Ouchie, my paw! I'm good. Whew. And we're back and ready. Ha! Let's get started. Huh? Yeah! See that? Pass to another me, and the kick. All right! Bucky scores a goal and pulls it. What? Head. You can't be already keeping score. I don't even know what to press. Enter your moves with the keys, then click the ball in the corner of the screen. I get it. Oh, I got it. Ha 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 ha! wins. Oh yes. <laughs> Follow me to level three, Bjorn. you've been outside. Why don't you come outside and play? Hey, Franny. Hi. It's raining hard outside. That rainstorm happened three days ago. It stopped. It stopped, did it? That's good. Me and Bjorn have been busy on a computer network. A computer network? But that doesn't seem fun at all. Oh, it's seriously fun. There's adventure games and soccer and pictures, and you can message any time in all kinds of weather. And you can sit anywhere, like a hammock. <laughs> it hurts. Granny, help. I'm stuck in this thing. Can you untangle me? Pull that lever there. This one? I'll try. I'm trying, trying. It's not. <laughs> huh? Bucky, what's going on? Are you asleep? The cyber bugs are taking over. The base has been overrun. Bjorn, who cares about cyber bugs? I'm in real trouble. Just look at how stuck I am. Look at that. Fine, I'm sending you a digital book on the history of knots. <laughs> it's really stuck. I can't even get it to budge. Whoa! Hey, look at that. You've got pretend computer mail. What is that? Dude, what exactly do you expect me to do with this book? It's informative while still being entertaining. Ah! Bjorn, please help me in the real world. I think I'm totally going to fall. Sure, all right. I'm on it. I am sending you a rescue helicopter. Thanks, handsome. Ah! Somebody help me! Uh, uh, I'll be back. Hang in there. I didn't mean for that to be a pun. Bjorn, I need you to come! Bucky's stuck and you're the only one who can help him! I already sent him a book on the subject and a helicopter. Fine then, I will do something else. Let me think. I'll send ships and, ooh, cool cyber tanks. Bjorn, Bucky needs help right uh, now, but real help and not uh, computer help! What took you so long, guys? <laughs> That's better. Thanks so much, buddy. Stupid hammock. Maybe I forgot to tighten something. So I'll be leaving, but I'll be seeing you online. Hey, Bjorn, slow down. While you're here in the flesh, want to actually play real-life mammal soccer? Oh, great, more rain. So should we just go home? Wait. Catch. What am I looking at? Put it on your head. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Turbo kick! You're not nearly as handsome as your avatar, Bjorn. Don't make me unfriend you. You guys! Circle!
circus bears! Circus time! Oh yes, it's circus time! Oh yes, it's circus time! It's circus time! Timey time! In the center ring, the great trainer of the ferocious tiger chick, Madam Foxy Pants! Bravo! bravo. Madam Foxy Pants Madam is Foxy the best! Pants. Chicky, Allie? Chicky, come on! What's your problem? Jump through it, all right? Your tiger chick's not doing any tricks! Circus fail! Gosh, I'd love to see a real, live, genuine circus. Your wish is my command! Coming right up! Genuine circus, genuine circus, 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 circus! Bravo, Actual Bobby! Right. circus! Whoops. Real, live, circus! You're welcome, Bjorn! Nice try, Bucky, but that was nothing like oh. the real circus. Franny, Chicky, I'm gonna need your help. Time to be awesome! The plan is to build a circus for Bjorn. We'll practice and put on a show that's crazy amazing. All right, circus time! Dibs on being the tightrope walker. You got it. <laughs> Just be sure not to tell Bjorn. This is going to be a real live circus. Tightrope walking, perfecting and preparing magic tricks, ferocious chicks and feats of skill and daring. Working, learning, prestidigitation, jumping beans on trampolines, creating a sensation. Ups and downs and juggling clowns, a circus celebration. That's how we prepare the beautiful and rare Cirque de Fox and Bear. <laughs> Excellent! Now we're like real circus performers. But there's still something missing. Flashy costumes, maybe? Well, we've got to have those. What we're missing is the circus itself, the big top. Oh, we'll work till we drop. Yes, we'll hammer, sew, and chop every flashy costume, every awesome prop. No, we'll never, ever, never, never stop, stop, stop till there's a real live circus in a real big top. In these costumes, Bjorn will never recognize us. You're right! Now everything's done except the advertising. A real, live, genuine circus performance. One day only. Don't miss it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get our tails to the big top! Ladies and gentle bears, cubs of all ages, welcome! Oh, adoring public, the circus is about to begin! <laughs> Please, welcome to the center ring, the super flying princess! Um, so Bjorn, I'm just gonna go look and see if Bucky's here. Ladies and gentle bears, the flying princess! This is so cool! Huh? Isn't she amazing? Whoa! Hey! Ali! Hop! Hop! Send in the clowns! <laughs> and now, an acrobatic feat that's incredibly neat! Bucky missed it. Aw, am I late? I lost track of time geniusing. And I really wanted to see the real live circus. This circus was absolutely the real deal. And you guys are real talented artists, as well as wonderful friends. Thank you very much. I don't have any idea what you mean. Give up, Bucky. He's on to us. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Chicky's really got that magic trick down, right? Where are we gonna put all the bunnies? My carrots are almost ready to harvest. I'm gonna make a fortune. Ballad 
of the two knights. Sweet victory! You have survived the three challenges. The countless hours you wasted on this game have paid off. You are now a knight. The golden sword! Dude, that's sweet! Cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff! I've got this new game for us to play. Assign me three challenges. Once I've done them, you two can dub me a real knight. Hey, I want to be a real knight. Franny, assign us knightly challenges. Golly, what should I choose? How about I say something like this? You must help me make a yummy apple pie. A pie? But... That's not a daring challenge. There's nothing knightly about pies. Guess I'll have to come up with my own challenges. Well, I haven't ever made a pie before. But, well, if that's what the challenge is, then that's what I will do. Now, a real knight needs a real suit of armor. Awesome time! If you want to be a knight, then you need a suit of armor. Apple pies are awesome! You can ask any farmer! Plant. And mix. And bag. If you put the work in, you can get your wish! What a glorious sight! I'm on my way to being a knight! Greetings, friends! Hey, Bucky! Awesome armor, Bucky! Bjorn just completed the pie challenge! A knight deals with enemies of the realm, not baked goods! But can I have a piece? Mmm! Mmm, good pie. All right, that does it for the first night challenge, Franny. Give me the second. And another piece of pie. The second challenge is going to be... I'm thinking the second challenge is to help me make yummy fruit punch. Make punch? Nah, the second challenge is going to be to find a horse. Every real knight needs a horse. Yummy fruit punch. Well, I suppose I could make it. Okay, let the second challenge begin! If you want to make punch, find some fruit and pick a bunch. To be a knight, of course, you've got to have a horse. Smush the fruit into a pot and heat the pot up really hot. To be a knight indeed, you will need a noble steed. If you do it all just right, you're on your way to being a knight. Yeah, our punch is totally delicious. And that means you've completed the second challenge. All right, then. What's going to be the final challenge? Well, you might have noticed my scooter's broken. Can you fix it? I'll fix it up, Franny. Good as new. Onward, trusty steed. Get me up. Check it out, Bjorn. I built a horse. I'm ready for the final challenge. Yeah, pretty sure that my final challenge won't ever be finished. Are you fixing Franny's scooter? Let me help you. That would be great, Bucky. Before long, I'll be dubbed an actual real live knight. I don't think Franny will pick you to be a knight. I'm the one with the horse and armor. I don't really even need to complete another challenge. There, good as new. Hear ye, hear ye! Welcome to the court of Franelot! Valiant warrior. You have completed all my challenges chivalrously. And as such, I dub thee a proper knight. Henceforth, you shall be called Sir Bjorn the Helpful. Sir what the what now? What about me, Franny? I've got armor. And a horse. Yeah, but Bucky, you didn't complete any of my challenges. But Bjorn helped me make a yummy apple pie and make fruit punch and he fixed he... my scooter. Hmm. <laughs> Step forward, Sir Bjorn, and receive your just reward. Franny, I don't deserve the knighthood either. It was Bucky who fixed your scooter. I couldn't have done it without him. Oh my, is that right? Yes, it's the truth. That's so perfect! Brave and noble Bucky! You shall be henceforth known as Sir Bucky the Helpful and Plucky because you took the time to help Bjorn out. And you are now Sir Bjorn the Truthful because you told me what Bucky did. Huzzah! Double huzzah! The golden sword. Look at me, guys. We're knights. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we baking next? <laughs> Let's play 
play tomorrow. Gonna play play school. It's gonna be so cool. <laughs> Parry! Thrust! Run! Hey guys, good morning! <laughs> Let's play pretend school! Why? Don't do a lot of desks. Surrender, Musketeer! I don't wanna! Ah. Musketeers never give up! Owie! And thus begins my final nap. Oh. <sighs> now, Bucky, it's your turn to be the bad guy. Yuck! Being the bad guy isn't fun, and the bad guy never wins. Oh, Franny, do you want to play Three Musketeers with us? Yeah, sounds fun. Being the third Musketeer sounds awesome. We already have a third Musketeer. Seriously? But listen up. You'll be doing an important, amazing part. You're certain to really love it. Awesome. What part is it? Does the word pin cushion mean anything to you? Musketeers, musketeers never quit. It's one for most and most for some. Or something like that. Musketeer chase, musketeer fight. All the musketeers are having fun, all right. Doing musketeer stuff the musketeer way. The musketeers will have a super awesome day. Hey, guys, can I take a turn being a musketeer now? <laughs> yeah, but it's getting late. We'll do it tomorrow. Later, Franny. Bye. Tomorrow, then. It's a date. I'm ready to be a musketeer now, guys! <laughs> Race for the sky, bad nosed Bjorn! Taint likely, Bronco Bucky! You <laughs> lily livered cow bear! All for most or whatever! Wait, four for some? Franny, we're trying to play here. Come here and hand me one of those darts. Thank you there, partner. Now eat lead, bad nosed Bjorn! You varmint! Franny, can you hand me that, please? Purdy, please? Can I join your cowboy game? You betcha. But later, it's duelin' time. Bronco Bucky, bad nose Bjorn. Draw! Can I play? Uh, no. How, y'all? Yeehaw! Ammo! Another one! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> More ammo! <laughs> That's enough. I'm tired of playing cow bears. Gotcha! <laughs> Can I be a cow bear fox girl now, please? Of course you can. Ah, <sighs> but tomorrow, yeah? This cow bear's plum tuckered out. Tomorrow? I've heard that before. Happy trails, Franny! <laughs> Just call me Franny Oakley! Bull's eyes! Hey there, Franny! Oh. You're just what we need. A great sharpshooter cow fox? All right! We don't need that. See, today we're playing Martian Expedition. We're both astronauts and you're the alien monster. Wait a minute. I don't want to play this alien stuff. What would you like to play? Well, actually, I've been wanting to play pretend school. I could teach you guys things and stuff. School is just boring. Right now, let's play Mars. And I promise tomorrow we'll play school. That's fair, right? Why does everything I want have to wait till tomorrow? It's getting really old. You can't eat us! We're astronauts! <laughs> Jordan, close the hatch! <laughs> We're going to play by my rules for a little while. The alien seems to have vanished. Looks like it's safe for us to go back out. Hey, what's going on? Bjorn, the hatch is locked! Why do they always get to say what we play? Bucky, look! The alien's coming back! What on Mars is it doing? What's that board for? You're a very strange alien. You are my prisoners. And my evil alien plan is to teach you everything I know twice. No, that's torture. But you forgot one thing. Rockets can fly. Yeah, yeah. You were saying? Come on, Franny. It isn't funny anymore. Let us out. The alien won, all right? Well, then, I guess you have to do what I say. Fine, do your worst. Torture us with knowledge. Now pay attention. We begin with basic math. These weird symbols are called numbers. Numbers. Feel free to take notes, because there will be a lot of tests. And quizzes. Oh, so many quizzes! And essays and book reports. But you should be fine as long as you pay close attention the entire time. Yeah! High five for learning! The Tooth Fairy. 
slumber party jump fest. It's the best. <laughs> Franny, thanks. This has been a super awesome slumber party. Come on. Is that all? I want to play some more. It's time for us to brush our teeth and go to bed. It's late. Brush our teeth? Count me out. Brushing's lame. Seriously? You mean you never brush your teeth? Of course not. What a waste of time. Besides, I already brushed my teeth earlier this year. Well, that explains his breath. Oh, always brushing your teeth. How very pointless. What the, huh? Toothpaste beard, huh? Nice. And which one of you jokers pulled this little prank? Empty beds? Aha! Follow the bloppy little clues? Straight to the guilty parties! Ha! Gotcha! Whoa! This is a really weird bathroom! Oh. Wow! Now this is cool! What is this place? This is the kingdom of Toothopolis! Oh! That means you would be... I'm the Tooth Fairy! And this is my intern! Come on, Bucky! Let me give you a tour of Toothopolis! <laughs> Toothopolis is the second most popular body part-centric theme park of all time, with such attractions as the Molar Coaster, the Toothy Spin, and the Fluoride Glide. And that's Emperor Bright Tooth. You should probably say hello! Hi there, Emperor! My name's Bucky! Hmm... And so now that we're all friends and stuff, is it fine if I ride some rides? Absolutely, Bucky! Have an excellent time! <laughs> a carnival booth called Shoot the Tooth! Up, 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 and a toothbrush cup! An awesome loopy trip in a toothpaste rocket ship! <gasps> I never knew toothy stuff could be this much fun! <gasps> Whoa! What is that? Huh? Um, there's a huge monster over there! That's Placulork, our amusement park's mortal foe! He wants to destroy all this! He's a real pain in the gums! Hey there, Placulork! Just back off! I'd call the police about now! We don't have a police force. Uh, the people of Toothopolis are absolutely defenseless. Oh, then I suppose you're out of luck. Um, can you tell me where the exit to my world is? But, Bucky, please! You can't abandon us now! You're our only hope of beating Placulorg! That hideous monster fears only one thing in the world. Toothpaste, my boy. <gasps> Go now, brave cub. Toothopolis' fate is in your paws. Don't let us down. Uh, okay. All right then, Placulorg. Prepare to get genius <laughs> oh, please, Bucky! <gasps> Hurry up! Clack, <laughs> you lord! You call that a burp? That's the puniest thing I ever heard! That's better! Ha-ha! <laughs> Roll up your sleeves and save the world. In appreciation for your service to Toothopolis, I present you with our highest honor, Flex Caliber, the Wonder Brush. Gosh, thanks. I might even use a great brush like this one. Well, goodbye, Noble Bucky. Think of us when you see a shiny set of chompers. Um... Just a regular bathroom. Well, duh. Yeah, I knew it was just a dream. <gasps> Wait, Flick's Caliber. How'd you get here? If this is real, well then, there really is a Toothopolis. Bucky, are you brushing your teeth for real? <laughs> yep, now I'm all set for another year. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with Placulorg. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
The perfect friends. Morning, Bucky. <laughs> you want to pick berries with me? <laughs> Franny! Forget that. Come and check out this awesome thing I made. Huh? Look. It can read the star's thoughts. Just take a listen. Huh? Hmm. I don't hear anything at all. It's just a little random noise. Noise? Those are star's thoughts. Fine. Go on, pick your berries. Later! I'm going fishing. Want to come along? It'll be fun. How could I be interested in fishing when I'm listening to the thoughts of the stars? You want to hear them? No. No. I'm not really hearing any thoughts. Just some noise. Kind of like you hear in a seashell. Well, you're not exactly an expert, Yorn. Just go and catch your fish. Okie dokie, Bucky. I'll be at the river, dude. Try not to die of boredom. Oh! Go away, Chicky. It's not a good time. Uh, why don't any of my friends understand me? I wish I could find a world where my friends would completely get me. Big genius idea! The thingy goes in the other thingy, right by the other thingy. Good! All finished. Now to give it a try. Yank the lever. I'm so clever. Walk through the portal to wherever. Science stuff! Um, okay. What happened? It didn't work at all. Hi, Bucky. Huh? I made some upgrades to your boring machine. Do you want to come see it? Really? What upgrade? Who said you could do that? Okay, I understand. Seems you quote upgraded it by adding that flower. Well, partly. I added that to Hickey as well. It's pretty cool. It reads the star's mood and turns the mood into music. Actually, the dancing flower is just there for funsies. Did you just say music from star moods? That's right. I'm also planning to do the reverse as well, so the flower's thoughts will make the stars dance. Um, cool. Want to help with the calculations? Uh, yeah, sure, all right. Surprise, surprise, shock of shocks. Who knew Franny was a genius fox? Just a bit more left. Now we just have to find the way to transform thoughts into something musical. Uh, Franny, hey, do you feel hungry at all? Are any of your raspberry pies left over from yesterday? What are you talking about? I have never cooked in my whole life. Here, just choke down some vitamins. They're bitter as the dickens, but they're great for your brain. Now, we also have to calculate making it work in reverse. Franny, I'm just gonna go, uh, you know, get a little fresh air, which is good for your brain, too. You just keep mapping and stuff. Now, if the coefficient of the variable. Yo, Bjorn, hi there. New fishing rod? Let's try it out. Fishing? Aren't you cute? It's not a fishing rod, dude. It's my super transmutator. Super trans. What? With this invention, I can change into any shape I choose. Say, for example, Awesome time! My best friend, Bucky. Uh, Bjorn? I'm a little bit creeped out by that. Can you please stop being me? No problem. Bjorn, yeah, that's pretty cool and all, but you still have a regular fishing rod, right? Why would I have that? Fishing's trivial next to my scientific pursuits. Oh, Chicky! You wanna play? Come on, then. All right, Chicky Bird, run and get the pine cone! Bucky, what are you doing? Sorry for that, Professor Flyenstein. May I give you a demonstration of my new transmutator? I made the modifications you suggested and reversed the polarity of the frigid. The gain was amazing. Too weird. I take it back. This is anti-awesome! Pull the lever and close that door forever! Bucky? Franny? Bjorn? Dr. Flyenstein? Dr. Wettenstein? Bucky, all of us were thinking about it. So we'd all like to learn some science stuff that has to do with your inventions. So you can find us more interesting to talk with and stuff. Don't be silly. I like you guys the way you are. You don't need to learn science. Let's go and pick berries for a pie. Then we'll all go fishing. That's easy. The solution to the problem is friendship. 
As easy as pie. Mmm, so yummers. Wow, Franny. <sighs> Your pies are insane. The best pies on earth. Thank you. Ah, it took me a whole week to perfect this new special top secret pie. <gasps> it took you a week to come up with a recipe for pie? That's nuts. It's not like cooking's hard to do. If it's so easy, why don't you try It'd it? It'd be easy as pie. <laughs> And I'd like to see you try to be an inventor. Make something really simple, like a bike. Uh, sure, I could do that. All right, then, put her there. Bjorn's our witness. The Bacon Mick Challenge is on. What is pie? Pie is something you make in an oven. But what if you could just put the ingredients in the top of the oven and the rest was automatic? There is no such oven. Oh, that's great. I get to invent one. Weld and solder and screw and drill. Inventing stuff is such a thrill. With a mountain of brains and an ocean of skill, I'll make an auto pioneer ovenizer. I will. Right. Where do I begin? Ooh, first I'll pick the color. Uh, pink, duh. My bike will be pink. Ooh, with purple polka dots and yellow handlebars. I'm really good at this. And I think the wheels should match the handlebars. That is a beautiful design. I'll make the seat white like a big fluffy cloud. And the chain will have all the colors of the rainbow in it. It's just gorgeous. I'm a super genius. Let's see. Now, what do we put in it? Hmm. I'm a little fuzzy on the formula, but I think a cherry pie needs cherries. What a breakthrough. Your genius is mind-blowing. Next, you can solve the ancient mystery. What is in an apple pie? Be quiet, please. I'm cooking. Pie. Genius time. What else yummy do I need to add? Honey, perfect! <laughs> Gotta have chocolate. Sweet! I think it's time to tackle the crust. The crust has got eggs in it, right? Um, bingo! These snake eggs should be fine. After all, eggs are eggs. I think crusts also have flour. Like, a lot, yeah. You have to have a ton of flour. Probably. Looks like that's all. Soon high. Great. Where could I find bicycle parts? First, I'll need the pink frame. Pink, pink. Of course, raspberries and cream. And for the purple polka dots, blueberries will work fine. Oh, that's shaping up very nicely. <laughs> and this will be a perfect yellow handlebar. And for yellow wheels, I can just cut some lovely pineapple rings. Oh, and chocolate icing for the tires. And I'll make the white seat out of coconut. Now the rainbow chain, candy worms. Now to put the pieces together. Uh, hmm. Your judge has arrived. Let's see what you came up with. Your big mouth started this, so you go first. I give you the pioneering ovenizer and genius berry pie. Huh? You're the first bear to enjoy it. Well, the crust seems a bit tough. Tough crust? Uh, I've got just the thing. Huh? I'll be right back. And I'm back. And it's pie time. Huh? Your pie is served. I'm sorry, but that isn't going into my mouth. Because I like having teeth. Well, Franny? It's your turn. Let's see the bike you invented. Hmm. Isn't this the most beautiful bicycle you've ever seen? Speechless, huh? I understand. Try it out, Bjorn. Ugh, for real? Ugh. Ugh. Doesn't it move? Well, no, but it's beautiful and sweet. I say that we've got ourselves a tie. All right, then. Shake paws, you guys. You know, I think that making pies just isn't my thing. And I'm not much of an inventor, as it happens. Oh, Franny, would you like my super pie and ovenizer? All right. I'll make a brand new pie for you. With raspberries and banana and pineapple and candy worms and coconut and chocolate icing called Bicycle Pie. 